Hello, my name's Joe. I'm a UK reseller and today I want to talk about selling DVDs on eBay. So in my last video I showed a sales report video and it was majority DVDs and other types of media. And I just want to go into a little bit more detail about the types of media that I pick up and sell on eBay. Now I definitely think there's still a market for selling DVDs on eBay. Um, obviously you need to know the price you pay and how much you're going to get back. Um, but if you pick up items at the right price um, and you, know, you can sell them for X amount of money, um, I definitely think it's worthwhile. Um, that sometimes it is cutting it fine on some items so I do recommend that you do your own research when scanning and looking up DVD prices as it can vary quite a bit. So the first thing to note is I only deal in TV box sets so any TV dramas from the 1970s onwards up to today's TV. I rarely pick up movies, um, there's a few to the exception um, but the majority of what I do pick up are TV programmes things which have been on TV, um, which have more than one disc. So how do you spot a DVD box set at a charity shop or car boot? Now the first thing you need to do is look at the packaging and often there will be publishers um, on the spine which will give you an insight into the ones to buy. Now the ones that I do pick up are Acorn, uh, Network TV, RJL, BBC, ITV, um, IMC, Simply Media, and there's a few different other ones, and I'll put a screenshot up here now of what the logos look like. So those are the logos, um, those are the ones that I recognise and the ones that I tend to pick up. Um, they're on the spines of the DVDs, so they're really worth looking out for. Um, and obviously not all of them are worth money, um, but if you buy these and you're paying 50p a pound or two, you can't go that far wrong. Um, obviously not everything's worth money, but if you're paying a pound for a DVD, you're more, most likely to get a pound back um, at a minimum if you were to sell via a website. So it's definitely worth buying and just taking a punt um, if you're picking up these sort of names named publishers. So I'm going to show you some box sets which I've got in stock at the moment which are worth quite a bit um, and just give you a little insight into what to look out for. So the first ones are Ashes to Ashes. Um, this is like a TV show set in the 80s. Um, if you've got the complete seasons one to three you're looking about 35 to 40 quid. Um, on Amazon much more, about 60 quid I think. Um, but they come in like cardboard boxes um, you can get a slimline ones, and they, there's also a version of series one to three in like a, a DVD box set, like all in one. I picked these up for three pound each. Um, so yeah, and we're just waiting for the third one, and then that'll go on eBay. Some other DVDs to look for are like older ones, and these are like old movies. Um, and again, some of them are worth quite a bit, probably about like ten quid each, maybe. Uh, so definitely worth looking out for. I picked up this at the car boot the other week. It's uh, Lizzie McGuire, um, the TV series from Disney Channel and CBBC. Um, this is only series two. Um, but yeah, this one I paid a pound for. And a box set of series one to three like this went for £56 on eBay. So definitely worth looking out. These anime sort of cartoon um, films are definitely worth looking out for. The main one is Spirited Away, but then there's also a collection of other ones. And there's two here. And if you pick those up for like 50p to a pound, they're definitely worth looking out for. Robotnik's, Robotics is like an 80s cartoon. And again, I've done really well with 80s cartoons on eBay. Um, DVDs and stuff. Now the really popular ones don't go for much but if you get like ones like this then they can do pretty well. This is a comedy, this is a series one of a TV series called Supernova. It has Rob Brydon in. I, I scanned this on uh, one of the websites, like one of those music archive things 
and it was offering me three quid. I looked on Amazon and I think it was asking for about £18 for this. I picked it up for 49p so you know I could trade it in but I'm gonna hold out and see if I can get about 16, 17 pound. And finally everyone's favourite is obviously the PTK DVDs. Um, this one you can probably get about 10 pound on its own. This is Max and Paddy's Road to Nowhere. Um, and these two as a bundle you can get up to 20, 25 pounds sometimes. Um, and I picked these up for like three quid. Um, about three quid for both of them normally. So um, definitely worth looking out for um, if you are out and about. So those are just a few DVDs that I have at the moment which are still listed or to be listed. Um, but uh, you know it just goes to show that there are DVDs which are worth money still. Um, and if you're out and about and you're just sort of scanning DVDs, um, you know, scan them. And if Music Magpie or We Buy Books are offering one pound, one pound fifty, then they're probably likely to be worth a little bit more than that. So it's definitely worth buying them. And if they're cheaper or the same price, um, and seeing if there's potential to make more money. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, then please give it a thumbs up, uh, leave a comment below, and if you have any questions, I'll be happy to answer those for you. Bye for now.